What's up guys, John and Cross with your daily dose of old school cool. I have one of my absolute favorites ever for you guys today. We just got this thing in, haven't looked at it yet, couldn't wait to do a video, so we're gonna do a before and after. This is an 81 CJ8 scrambler, kind of like your favorite mullets. It's business in the front, party in the back. It's basically a CJ7 with a truck bed on them. They only made them for a few years, and with the advent of the new Jeep truck, these have become even more in demand than they were previously. The thing that I just drives me nuts about this thing, I think it's super cool, is that from what I can tell, it's really all original. It still has a tape in the original tape deck. I can't eject it, but I can't wait to see what it is. Um, original 4.2 liter carbureted engines, looks like it's in great shape. I'm sure there's some leaks we're gonna have to deal with, but the thing starts up, there's still snow in the bed of this thing, it's so cold right now. It only took me about two minutes of cranking and messing with the gas pedal to get it going. Thing runs strong. Um, couple little bit of pock marks in the back. There's a, a little spot about the, the size of the end of your pinky. That's the only through stuff I can find. Everything else is this patina, not rust, patina, because patina has value, because that's cool, right? In a few places, uh, but it's, this is correct. You just don't see them like this. It's awesome. All the trim pieces are where they should be. The original dash is cracked, but that's kind of cool. It goes along with kind of the rat rod feel this thing has. Everything on the interior is the way it should be. And what's especially unique about this is it's kind of like buying an old house and having to go through like five layers of linoleum before you actually get to the floor where you can add the tile. No one's messed with this car from what I can tell. Um, we're not gonna have to sort through eight layers of bad wiring jobs when people did radios and tried to hook up heaters and all sorts of goofy stuff to get it right. Uh, the last point on this is it's an SR with factory air. I'm sure it doesn't work. Uh, it's so cold I can't even test the thing right now. But we're gonna get that converted and figured out as well. Um, just a super, super cool, unusual scrambler. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna give you updates along the way. Any questions about this one, feel free to give us a shout, 502-459-9900, or you can uh, drop a question in the comments below, and uh, I'll make sure to keep up with those. I'm John, we'll talk to you guys soon.